Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm going to be going over one of the features that has been recently added to Premiere Pro. This comes with their most recent update, the 14.4 version that we're on now uh, within Premiere Pro. And with that update comes this cool little feature that is called Scene Edit Detection. Now, this is a feature that has been in DaVinci Resolve for some time and Premiere Pro. Uh, I finally got around to adding it, and it's, it's, uh, and it's very useful in a, in a few instances. Some instances where you may wish to use this would be, well, for example, say you've exported a movie out or somebody's giving you a movie to uh, a movie that's been edited is no longer in project format. You can no longer see the edits inside of Premiere and it's just a, a flattened movie file. So like right here, this thing is a flattened movie file that's uh, a fully edited movie. But say somebody, say you want to take out a shot out of this and uh, later on for like a film festival, you're trying to cut it down to a little bit shorter or some, something like that. And then you want to, and cut out some scenes here. Or say you want to color correct. Somebody gives you, delivers you a movie file that they're asking you to uh, maybe color grade. And if you're color grading, one big movie file is just going to color grade everything all, all at once and it's not going to work. So it would, it's nice to have it cut up into individual shots where those edits happen, where the edits happen in your movie. And then you can color grade those clips all individually. So let's kind of show how this is done here. So first of all, you do have to create a timeline. So if you don't have a timeline created, uh, you're just going to grab your file and drag it over here and create a timeline. Now I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go up to Scene Edit Detection. And then, then it will bring up this little screen here and it will ask you if you want to apply a cut at each uh, cut point and if you want to create a bin of subclips from each uh, detected cut point as well. I like both of those checkmarked. I'm finding that I want both of these check marked, and I'm going to kind of show you, uh, kind of show you why here. But I'm going to hit analyze and let it start analyzing. I'm just going to let this go through, and finish from beginning to end. Then we'll come back and show you what we've got. All right, finishing up here, and done. Sweet. Okay, I'll finish. So what it's done to the clip is it's put a bunch of cuts on, on this one movie file here. Uh, so, and you can see that these are what they call redundant cuts here, where you've got the little arrows pointed toward each other like that. So those are uh, cuts that, that have been created on this timeline. But as, as we go through this, we can see that the first scene... Now, there's a couple things that it, it did a good job for the most part. Every time I go to a new cut is where the new shot, be shot begins. So this has now been cut up into all these individual cuts. As you play through this, watch as it cuts from one clip to the next. There's a cut right there, so it's been, this is really nice. So now if I need to color grade these individually, I can. Uh, I noticed at the very beginning here, as we play through, it goes through an opening title. And then after the opening title, uh, it fades back into an, another shot here. One thing that it's not really good at is finding is finding uh, edits where there's not a clean cut edit. If it's a dissolve, like a cross dissolve or something like that, or some sort of flare effect, Premiere Pro doesn't really detect that. So with some of these here, if you want to correct this first shot, you may have to perform your own cut right there. And now you've got that as a standalone clip right there. Uh, but what this did over here is it put everything into this individual folder over here. And you want to treat, if you want this to treat them like individual clips, now that the work's been done, you can actually delete everything out of your timeline, grab this folder here that it put everything in, drag it over and drop it, and then you have all the individual clips. Uh, as as no longer these were done edits with the little arrows pointing toward each other, which cleans it up a little bit. But then if you go through and find something that didn't work, you can, you can do some cuts or something like that or some replacements or, or whatever. But now you can go through this, and now if you're doing color grading, it's going to color grade each, uh, each shot individually as you move the playhead over. So if we're changing exposure or whatever, or we're changing the shot just to get a, the, if there was a mismatched shot or something like that, now you can do the color grading on these individual cut uh, shots, and then you can... And then you can re-export out your movie there. So, so that's a pretty cool little feature that they've added. I want to show one more thing here. The clip like this, where you have a lot of dissolves in your video, it's kind of interesting the way it treats this. I'm going to kind of show you this here. But this video has a lot of dissolves between the shots here. And it doesn't seem to detect those all that much. So I'm going to analyze this one and do the same thing and see what we get. So scene edit detection. Do the same thing. Apply a cut at each uh, detected point and create a bin. Now we're going to let that process and we'll come back and pick up when it's finished and see what it's done. The scene edit detection has finished and looking here, there doesn't seem to be very many cuts here. There's lots of different shots here that had dissolves on it and it didn't detect any of those. Uh, but it did do these kind of weird random cuts just like here. 
And that's obviously not a, 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 an edit, so I'm not sure why it detected that. And it also did it on a couple other random spots that weren't really edits as well. But most of this project pretty much had a dissolve between each take. So the conclusion is it doesn't do a good job on de detecting dissolves at all. I don't think that's what it's for, but it does. It seems to do an excellent job on detecting just regular hard cuts. And uh, I, th I think it's a feature in Premiere that's been needed for a while. I, I don't use it that often, but it is something that I occasionally use, and it's helpful. And I've actually gone to DaVinci Resolve to do it. Uh, uh, because the, because DaVinci Resolve will actually will actually did it, and they finally added this into Premiere, so I think that's pretty cool, and uh, I will be using this in the future. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please let me know.